Welcome into the 901. I'm Aaron Wilson. Now the next couple of weeks for the Grizzlies looks a lot tougher than we've seen lately. The Warriors, Spurs and Suns are in the near future, but the NBA's reigning champions are up first. Now the number two team in the East comes to see the number two team in the West. 16 and two is how the Grizzlies fare without John Morant this season. Can they make it 17 and two against Milwaukee tomorrow? Well, Giannis is still day to day as well as Chris Middleton, which means that this could be a fun night for the league's leading rebounding team. The Grizzlies continuing to dominate the boards. Now the Bucks are not so far behind them, but without Giannis tomorrow, they may be. No jaw or now jaw might not be in the game tomorrow, but he is in what he calls Hollywood. Behind the release of his new Spider-Man commercial, despite the doctors and what they say, jaw took to Twitter today saying, put him in, he's ready to suit up. He also said that he had to let his daughter know she just could not really understand who her dad is. But in her defense, Ja, I don't think many of us knew that you were Spider-Man. But now, all the wild dunks and soaring plays, well, they make much more sense. Now, ESPN has Josh Minot as a projected second-round pick in this year's NBA draft, which is good for him. But how does Penny replace the freshman's production next season? Well, I'm not sure, but looks like he's working on it. Northwestern State transfer Kendall Coleman posted this today to his Instagram. Similar to Minot, he's 6'8", 220 pounds, and he's a forward. He averaged a double-double this past season, and nothing's official, but a team can dream, right? Now, on the other hand, Memphis baseball team today with back-to-back -back losses. Indiana State held Memphis scoreless today. The final score of that game, 0-12. to 12. Any thoughts? Let me know. My handle is eWilsonTV. That's the 901 in 91.